Today on Toby's Edible Adventure, we're gonna take a look at the history of one of my favorite foods ever, skamen. I'm also gonna review a take-a-home skamen kit from the shop that started it all. So break out your chopsticks. My name's Toby. I'm a chef who's worked everywhere from ramen shops to fine dining. Now I travel around in search of a great meal and even greater experiences. And I'm here to share it with you. Skamen is a noodle dish that, at least in the U.S., lives in the shadow of its big brother ramen. Skamen was invented at a ramen shop called Nakano Taishoken. On hot summer days, the staff would eat leftover cold noodles and dip them in the hot ramen broth that had been reducing all day. It was a cross between ramen and cold soba noodles that were already popular in Japan at the time. Curious customers began requesting it, and before long it made its way onto the menu. It's been over 60 years since then, and skamen has become a regular staple right along ramen, soba, and sushi in Japan. Now, it's up to us to catch up and get with the program, because these noodles are seriously delicious. On our way home to LA from Napa, we took a detour to San Mateo, home of the only location of the legendary Taishoken in America. Skamen is one of my all-time favorite foods, so I've been super excited about this since I found out they have a location here. Just the thought of that delicious, thick, porky, fishy goodness has me hyped. Luckily, because of the pandemic, they started making skamen kits that you can enjoy at home. All right, let's check out this box. Pretty cool instructions. Awesome little sticker. We got some nori, or dried seaweed. Two different kinds of chashu. Some really beautiful looking soup. We got some pickled bamboo shoots. Soy sauce marinated eggs. And look at these noodles, oh my god. These noodles are really unique, they have buckwheat in them. Can't wait to taste this. Traditionally, I think this is called a tonkotsu gyokai. 
So that means it has pork bones in it. That's what it's made from primarily. And then they used a dried fish like bonito and mackerel in there to give it this rich umami. Oh man, that was incredible guys. I highly encourage you, if you're anywhere near the San Mateo area, to go check out Taisho Kim. They have some of the most amazing skin that I've ever tasted. Super citrusy broth. Also had a really, really good richness from the pork and a really cool smoky seafood flavor. Heavy. Definitely gonna sleep well at night. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. See you guys next time.